One of the hardest things that I had to learn when I was getting to ropes with the bass guitar was learning how to stop regurgitating shapes of scales and fills that I had learned and bring a more melodic and thought out approach to developing bass lines and fills of my own. There are obviously many ways around developing your own voice, style, and having a personal approach to playing not just bass, but any instrument for that matter. The approach I'm sure every bass player has taken at some stage is learning your favorite songs, bass lines, or lines from your favorite bass players. However, as great as this is, and it is something that I also do, I believe there is an even better way. To become a better instrumentalist and musician, I believe you must learn to sing. Now, I don't mean you have to stop playing your chosen instrument and devote your time to learning to sing. What I mean is that an instrument that we all have is our voice, and that is one of the most melody-centric instruments there is. So, what better way to learn how to be more melodic on bass or your chosen instrument than by singing something maybe you hear in your head or just singing random things and trying to place how to play them on your instrument, like so. Da, 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 dum, dum. This is such a great practice tool because you don't need to set anything up or buy anything to do it. Your voice is your personal instrument and what you choose to sing is coming from your thoughts. Nobody has picked up music to regurgitate shapes and theory. Those things are both handy, but having fun and being creative is why we picked it up in the first place. Hey, I hear you playing your scales every day. You don't just have to play the scales. You can have fun and get creative with it as well. Well, I guess I could give it a try. Um... Singing while you practice not only helps develop your writing, but also your ear training as well. It also develops your relative pitch, and I know people that have developed their relative pitch to the point where it is crossing the line of perfect pitch with how quickly they are able to identify what note somebody is singing or playing. Maybe you're not a confident singer though, and want to develop your melodies. Firstly, I would say not to worry, as you don't have to sing loud, but my main piece of advice would be to learn your favorite songs, vocal lines, rather than just the bass line. Figure out what makes the singer of your favorite band a good singer and their melodic choices. And like I said earlier, we take influence and learn the bass lines to songs, so if you need influence for your melodies, start learning some vocal lines. How I like to practice this is both by learning the vocal lines to songs, but also putting on a drone, singing over the drone, and trying to play it at the same time. That way, as I'm singing and playing simultaneously, I can learn to create more melodic lines on the spot without having to sing along with myself playing. A friend of mine introduced me to cello drones, which I advocate for people to practice to. It is okay to make mistakes and not get it first try. I've been singing whilst playing for years and I'm not amazing at it. I even stopped for a while as my practice routine is always changing. Another thing to take note of is that when creating a melody, a wrong note to you can become a right note. If I'm playing in D major, watch how many wrong notes I can hit and still sound cohesive. For context, what I just played had every single wrong note you can possibly play. Minor seven, minor six, flat five, minor three, and the minor two. All five of them are wrong notes, all five of them are not in the scale that I just played, but I played them all and it sounded cool to me. So just play what sounds cool to you. Victor Wooten calls these notes the colour, bringing something new and thought-provoking into the music we play and listen to. Don't be afraid to hit a wrong note, figure out how to resolve it back to the key you want. When I teach this to my students, I have them play along to a cello drone and I tell them to play as many wrong notes as possible and try to resolve them back to whatever key we are in so that when it comes to them creating their own melodies, rather than seeing a note outside the scale as a wrong one, they see it as a new pathway into an interesting sound that can be brought back to wherever they want it to go. 
I know I'm a little strange for doing it now, but I don't call them wrong notes anymore. I just call them interesting notes or funky to my students because I don't want them to think they've hit a wrong note. I want them to figure out a way to get back to where we want to be. But thank you very much for watching my video. I hope this was interesting and you enjoyed watching it. So thank you very much.